in 2022, over 100 billion chicken eggs were produced in the US alone. Pretty exceptional, right? It's fair to say that eggs have become part and parcel of everyday life for most of us. However, there are some eggs out there that you probably didn't even know existed. From mesmerizing marbles to ominous orbs, and even a clutch resembling some sort of hellish honeycomb, let's take a look at the most unique eggs in the world. Oh, and get ready for egg puns. So, so many egg puns. Marvelous eggs. With their long, thin, slimy bodies, Sicilians look like the cursed siblings of snakes. However, turns out that these guys are actually limbless amphibians. One thing they do have in common with snakes, though, is the distinctive eggs they produce. Most Sicilians are viviparous, meaning they give birth to live offspring. However, around 25% of species are oviparous, or egg-laying, but the eggs they do lay are like nothing you've ever seen before. Now, as much as these look like ultra-rare marbles, what you're looking at are the eggs of the Chiquilidae, a species of Sicilian found in India. They're laid without a hard shell, with the embryo instead protected by a tertiary egg membrane, a bit like frog spawn. After two to three months, mama here finishes brooding her clutch and the young hatch out of their eggs. Normally, such an event would be joyous for mothers, although I don't think the same can be said in the case of Sicilians. You see, the offspring stay close to mom after hatching, not for love and affection, but to feed on her flesh. Harrowing as this process sounds, brooding mother's skin cells are filled with fat specifically developed to help her young grow big and strong. In one species, Sicilian's hatchlings that feasted on mommy dearest increased their mass by 86% in just 20 days. I know it benefits the babies, but man, that practice makes my skin crawl. Colorful Clutch if you're feeling a little hungry, I'd maybe skip these next eggs, because if you're anything like me, your sweet tooth will start aching the minute you set eyes on them. Now, tinamous are plump, ground-dwelling birds that can be found in Central and South America. Unlike most birds, which lay white or beige eggs, the tinamou lay their eggs in a wonderful variety of different colors, ranging from purple to pink, green to blue to brown. Forbidden M&Ms. If that wasn't cool enough, tenemu eggs are also iridescent, meaning they change color slightly depending on the angle that you look at them. Okay, they look pretty, but you'd think any eggs this mesmerizing are just asking for predators to pick out an eye-catching meal. Fortunately, though, marauders of tenemu eggs, such as foxes, skunks, and weasels, tend to hunt at night, so the cute colors aren't detrimental to their chances of survival. Still, why not just lay some plain old beige eggs? Well, researchers know the females of this species often share egg sites, so the sight of a particularly eye-catching colorful clutch may lead to more birds adding their own eggs to the pile. Eventually, a male will incubate the populous pile of eggs. Although the clutch can still be attacked by predators, it's believed that because so many eggs are incubated at once, hungry hunters struggle to chow down on every egg in a larger clutch, meaning at least some will survive. Well, that's safety in numbers at work, though caring for such a sizable clutch must be exhausting. You know what's way less effort though? Giving those like and subscribe buttons down below a nice little smash. Don't worry, they won't crack. All done? Great. Okay, what do we got next? Mega find. Measuring a massive six inches long and weighing in at three pounds, the ostrich produces the largest egg of any living animal. Sounds impressive, right? But if you think that's supersized, feast your eyes on the enormous egg of the elephant bird, a now extinct creature that once roamed the jungles of Madagascar. In all, their eggs measured in at a gargantuan 12 inches long and weighed a staggering 18 pounds, making them twice the height and six times as heavy as ostrich eggs. Their size is so unbelievable that in 2018, curators at New York's Buffalo Museum of Science discovered a real foot-long elephant bird egg that had actually been mislabeled as a model decades earlier. Now the question is, what could take down these beastie birds and their enormous eggs? Well, pretty predictably, the answer is humans. Elephant birds were hunted to extinction in around 1200 AD, with their eggs proving to be a particularly preferable food source. Who can blame them? 
I mean, can you imagine the size of those omelets? Yet the phenomena surrounding these eggs doesn't stop at their size. It's believed that there may be as few as 25 perfectly preserved elephant eggs in existence. Thanks to their rarity and super size, these things sell for a pretty penny. In a 2013 London auction, an elephant bird egg sold for over $100,000. For some perspective, if you were looking to make that much cash with chicken eggs, you'd need to sell almost 300,000 of them. Anyone else suddenly got an urge to visit the jungles of Madagascar? Extra small. From the massive to the minuscule now, say hello to the bee hummingbird, the world's smallest living bird. So teeny tiny is this little flyer that they're around the same size as a bumblebee, hence their name. In all, they grow to be just over two inches long while they weigh less than 0.1 ounces. For reference, that's about as heavy as a dime. But if you thought the adults were small, wait until you see their eggs. For starters, their nest is only about an inch wide, while the egg itself has a diameter of just 0.33 inches, making it the same size as a coffee bean. Weighing in at just 0.03 ounces, this little thing is about as heavy as one single raisin. Sounds small, right? In fact, bee hummingbird eggs are so tiny that it would take some 12,000 of them to fill up just one elephant bird egg. Yeah, safe to say these are the smallest bird eggs on the planet, and that's no exaggeration. Hard to see. Now, if you thought bee hummingbird eggs were small, then buckle up, because you ain't seen nothing yet. Across the world's oceans, sea urchins, a globular, hard-shelled, spiky cousin of the starfish, mostly reproduce through a method known as broadcast spawning. This involves the separate release of both eggs and sperm into a water column from females and males respectively, with fertilization occurring externally when the egg and sperm make contact. In all, female urchins may release as many as two million eggs into the sea, each. With so many eggs, you'd think that the oceans would be chock full of them, but that's not the case. You see, sea urchin eggs are tiny, so tiny that on their own, in their early stages, you can't even see them. Take the red sea urchin, for example. Their eggs are a mere 0.005 inches in diameter. Even more mind-blowing are the eggs of the purple sea urchin, with a width of 0.003 inches. That's so small, the naked human eye can't spot them. There could be hundreds, thousands, even millions of them in this image alone. Just to show how utterly microscopic these things are, the diameter of the purple sea urchin egg is over 100 times smaller than that of a bee hummingbird. Man, that's one tiny omelet. Beach blobs. Now, sea urchins aren't the only ocean critter to produce some pretty puzzling eggs. In 2021, visitors of the Mar del Plata beach in Argentina were greeted by the sinister sight of thousands of strange squidgy orbs covering the shore. Now, I don't know about you, but that looks suspiciously like the work of some menacing marine Martian. Fortunately, it turns out that these are in fact the eggs of an earth-based animal, the Adelomelon brasiliana. The eggs of this species of sea snail have a firm, transparent shell filled with a thick, gelatinous liquid that helps protect the embryos until they hatch. But other than that, the sea snail parents don't do much to support their kids. After mating, mama will just set her egg capsules free. Each capsule may hold more than a dozen embryos will float on the ocean's surface before hatching around eight weeks later. However, sometimes fierce waves fling the eggs up out of the ocean and onto the beach, where unhatched young make the perfect snack for American oyster catchers, who dine on this beach buffet. Those that aren't munched on have just a 3% chance of making it back to sea, with most drying out on the beach. To make matters worse, the dehydration of the eggs is said to cause a repugnant rotting smell. I think it's fair to say that life is definitely not a beach for these eggs. Spiral Spawn Turns out that rotting alien eggs aren't the only thing that you need to watch out for when taking a leisurely stroll on the beach. If you ever stumble across this obscure object, you might think that you've just discovered Poseidon's corkscrew. But this spirally substance is actually the product of a sea-dwelling critter. Bullhead sharks found in the warm waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans are culpable for creating these terrific twirling eggs. But why are they not, you know, egg-shaped? Well, after Mama Shark lays her spiral egg, she carries it around in her mouth. Thanks to its twisted design, the egg can be wedged between rocks in hard-to-reach places, preventing predators from snacking on it. 
Some bullhead shark eggs even have long curly tendrils stretching from their tip. Puzzling as it looks, this noodle of nature can attach to seaweed or the rocky seafloor, anchoring them in place in case wedging them between rocks fails. As we've seen though, sometimes these freaky features can help bullhead shark eggs from becoming beach bound. Hmm, shoving their eggs between rocks and hoping for the best, bullhead shark moms really are mediocre parents. Ethereal Eggs Back in 2016, a fisherman by the name of Edward Mortel made a strange discovery at sea. There was a large, dark shroud floating on the water surface, moving with the waves. What could it have been? A shark? A seal? Some ancient artifact? Turns out the curious cloud that Mortel spotted was actually a buoyant veil, containing goosefish eggs. The goosefish is a sea critter found in the deep, dark depths of the Arctic, Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. Scary as these beasts appear, they more than make up for their loathsome looks through this exceptional creation. Although it may look like an ethereal sheet of bubble wrap, this 60-foot-long buoyant veil of gelatinous goo is actually home to one million goosefish eggs. Okay, but mesmerizing as this thing looks, surely it's risky to send a million of your unhatched kids to the water's surface. After all, that'd make an angelic appetizer for any predators. Fortunately for the young, the veil is made up of a toxic gelatinous material putting off any hunters from taking a bite. Fair to say, goosefish moms make sure their bubble wrap babies are extra safe. Super Speckles Flying high above goosefish veils, you might spot a common mura, a seabird distributed around the North Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. During breeding season, these black and white birds lay eggs on rocky cliffs that overhang the sea. If that doesn't sound daredevilish enough, those fearless fowl don't even create a nest for their eggs. Instead, they just let them rest on a perilous perch several hundred feet above the waves. However, these bright birds have a terrific trick up their wing to help their young. Common muras don't lay ordinary ovular eggs. Instead, they're pyriform, meaning they're pointed at one end, like a pear. Unlike normal eggs, pyriform ones are more stable on unsecure surfaces, making them much less likely to crash land into the sea. But that's not the only fascinating feature about this egg. You may have noticed that common mura eggs come in a range of pretty patterns and colors, but this isn't just for show. Common muras breed in colonies at high concentrations with 20 pairs per square feet. Due to the density of eggs in such a small space, the parents' task of finding their own egg is akin to a God Tear Where's Waldo puzzle. Luckily, they're able to find their egg by observing its pattern and color, ensuring that no accidental chick nappings occur. Wow, despite its name, there's nothing common about this bird. Massive Mom for humans, carrying an average seven pound baby to term has to be one of the most backbreaking experiences ever. And that's before pushing it out. But as agonizing as that sounds, it pales in comparison to what Okorito Kiwi Mamas go through. Typically, these flightless birds found in New Zealand lay an egg weighing almost one pound, about the same as a soccer ball. But female Okorito Kiwis only weigh about four and a half pounds themselves, meaning the eggs weigh more than a staggering 20% of their body mass. Proportionately, that makes it the largest of any bird. The enormous egg plumps up pregnant females so much that their bulged bellies can drag along the ground. For some idea of just how great this feed is, ostriches lay eggs that weigh around three pounds. Yet the big birds themselves weigh around 220 pounds, meaning the egg takes up just over 1% of their mother's mass. Fortunately for the defiant kiwi mamas, the struggle is for a good cause. The giant egg means that kiwi chicks have more room to fully develop, so when they hatch, they're ready to run almost immediately. And it's just as well because kiwi moms don't provide their chicks with protection or food. Unsurprisingly, a small, feeble, flightless chick wouldn't last long in the wild if it couldn't move. So it's vital that when these chicks hatch, they're ready to run. You go, little guy. Or should I say, big guy? Black Batch In the depths of Indonesia, there exists a creature that's completely black, from its feathers to its organs and even its bones. You may think I'm describing some sort of mythological beast, but these are in fact the features of the Ayam Sumani a rare breed of jet black chicken. While it may look like these guys have been dipped head to tail in dark paint, the reason for their color is actually down to fibromelanosis. 
This genetic condition causes an excessive production of melanin, the pigment that gives color to skin, hair, eyes, well, just about everything in the body. As a result, this turns pretty much everything associated with the Ayam Samani black. Well, not quite everything. You see, surprising as it may sound, the eggs of these birds are cream colored. Still, many people often presume that these blackbirds produce dark eggs. Yet, despite their standard looks, Ayam Samani eggs still sell for a hefty fee. Fertile eggs can cost $160 per dozen, making them almost 40 times more expensive than your standard chicken eggs. So why the sky-high price? Well, Ayam Samani are a rare breed of bird with only around 3,500 existing around the world, making the chickens and their eggs more expensive. And while the Ayam Samani doesn't lay black eggs, there exists another bird that does. Emus, the six-foot flightless birds known best for their hilariously viral antics, produce huge five-inch long eggs which appear dark with a slight green tint. So why the strange shade? After all, they don't share the same jet black pigmentation of the Ayam Samani, while the curious color of their eggs is actually intended to benefit their clutch. The dark green eggs camouflage in with the dark green foliage in which they're laid, keeping their unhatched young out of any predator's maws. Well, it's pretty clear the difference between these two birds is black and white. Extreme Snails From the inky to the illuminous, this next batch of animal eggs are sure to strain your eyes. Introducing the apple snail, a species of freshwater snail native to South America. While the snails themselves don't look too appetizing, the same can't be said for their eggs. At first glance, these look like some sort of super succulent raspberries growing in some super strange positions. But they're actually broods of apple snail eggs. Not a mistake you want to make. But why would apple snails lay such obvious looking eggs in easy to reach places like on plant stems, leaves, and entire shorelines of nearby ponds? Well, unlike me, predators of apple snail eggs interpret the bright raspberry coloring as a warning. Warning from what exactly? Well, it turns out these snails have a sinister trick up their shell to ensure predators don't dine on their young. Alongside the embryos, each egg carries a unique neurotoxin known as perivitalin 2, or PB2, a toxin that's lethal to rodents and not great for humans either. So yeah, probably best to double check your raspberries next time you spot some in the great outdoors. Make that triple check. Toxic toads. Anyone familiar with cane toads know these aren't animals that you want to get too familiar with. The skin gland secretions of these awful amphibians contain bufotoxin, a toxic compound that's so potent that in the right dose, it can kill animals that attempt to feed on these creatures. But these toads aren't just poisonous as adults. They're toxic as toadlets, tadpoles, and yes, even as eggs. Wait, those don't look like any amphibious animal eggs I've seen before. Well, the females of this species will lay up to 35,000 of these toxic terrors in slimy, stringy, gelatinous chains twice a year. The shape of these egg chains allows them to wrap around vegetation in the water, anchoring them in place. But these strands are so long, they'll often tangle together, creating huge clumps of egg strands that look like the worst noodles ever. The mamas then leave the spindly spawn to develop in static bodies of water, which isn't great news for the surrounding marine life. I mean, would you want to suddenly be confronted by endless chains of these toxic terror beads? But it's not just aquatic animals that have to watch out for the ill effects of these eerie eggs. Even us humans aren't immune to their toxic ways. Well, those of us dumb enough to try eating mysterious strings of eggs they find in the wild, that is. Spongy Spawn just like their creepy cane toad cousins, spotted salamanders found in the eastern U.S. encased their spawn in a gooey gelatinous coating. But instead of long, thin ropes of eggs, salamanders produce something that has to be seen to be believed. They lay these kidney-shaped masses, each containing up to 250 individual eggs. Looks like a regular clump of frog spawn, doesn't it? But it gets much weirder. Algae present in the ponds these are laid in starts to grow inside the egg cases, raising the oxygen content of the egg capsules and removing waste products. In turn, ammonia waste from the embryos creates a nitrogen-rich environment that boosts the algae's metabolism. The strange symbiotic relationship between egg and algae is so deep that scientists recently discovered algae even lives inside the very cells of the salamander embryos. Not only does this relationship help the salamander embryos grow, it also turns the eggs within the mass bright green. 
So if you happen to stumble upon a swampland filled with these bizarre bright green blobs, rest assured that you're looking at salamander spawn. Not evidence of extraterrestrial life. Emoji eggs. Speaking of aliens, that brings us nicely onto the brown marmorated stink bug. These dark brown insects found in Asia, Europe, and the Americas may not look too crazy as adults, but the same can't be said for their creepy clutch. These bugs will lay up to 28 eggs, usually on the underside of leaves where they're protected from the prying eyes of predators above. At first, these circular light green eggs look like mini pearls, but as they develop, the eggs become transparent. Then around day five, the larvae are ready to hatch from their eggs, triggering this image that'll forever be embedded in my nightmares. I'll never be able to look at the smile emoji the same again. Fortunately, the blood red eyes and cold black smile isn't the actual face of the baby stink bugs. The two red dots are its eyes, but the black maw is the stink bug's egg cutter, which the larvae use to hatch out of the egg. Eventually, these beastly bugs escape from their casing, usually all at the same time. So they all emerge at once. Not exactly a comforting scene. Still, anything's better than looking at all those evil egg faces. <laughs> Pregnant Python. Whether it's their unquenchable appetite for large animals or fearsome 15-foot length, Central African rock pythons aren't critters you want to stumble across. Yet that's exactly what happened to locals in a Nigerian village back in 2016. However, this was no normal snake. This beastie was bulging at the sides, so much so that the villagers believed it chowed down on a calf or a person. Concerned, they decided they had to look for themselves. But when they opened up the belly of this beast, they uncovered something far more disturbing. What they saw were dozens of gooey, veiny, alien-like balls practically spilling out of the supersized serpent. Turns out that the snake's size wasn't down to a massive meal. It was actually just pregnant and chock full of eggs. These mega mothers can lay up to 100 eggs, each measuring around three and a half inches long and two inches wide. If, as seen in the pictures, the eggs are stored in three rows, they'd likely take up almost 10 feet of the mother's entire body. With females usually reaching around 15 feet long, that'd mean that around two-thirds of this snake's body was filled up by those eerie eggs. Rather her than me. Now, most types of snake eggs haven't evolved to need incubating or brooding, like when a hen sits on top of their eggs to keep them warm. This means the shells of snake eggs are relatively soft, so a clutch of the eggs will smush together in a pile if they're all laid in the same place. While these are pretty cool to look at, the locals in Nigeria had other plans. They decided to harvest and eat the slimy balls, which are regarded as a rare delicacy in the region. Well, that's one dish that I'm serpently never gonna try. Hateful Hatchling Around 70% of all snake species lay eggs, yet few are more peculiar than the Indochinese cobra, a serpent found in Southeast Asia. Females of this species lay around 16 ovular eggs, only a few inches in length, which hatch after about two months. They look normal enough, but the wonder around these things comes on hatching day. Unfortunately for the snakelets, their parents don't stick around for the special occasion. In fact, Indochinese cobra babies are completely independent as soon as they hatch. Seems pretty likely that they'd get snacked on by a predator, right? But luckily, the hatchlings have it covered. As soon as they hatch, these babies can straighten up right away. This move increases their size, warning any predators to back off. If that wasn't intimidating enough, these bold babies also come armed with a toxic supply of fully developed venom that's stored through a small hole in the bottom fangs. Anyone caught by a hissing hatchling can expect stinging, burning pain, and necrosis around the wound. In fact, the bite can lead to paralysis and can even be lethal to adult humans. Safe to say that these snakelets are excellently prepared for life after hatching. Hexagonal Horror With their piercing beak, slender appendages, and creepy cog-shaped crest, wheel bugs are an insect that look like they crawled out of the dark pits of hell. It's spine chilling as these bugs look as adults, they're nothing compared to their own eggs. These critters found in the US lay between 40 to 200 sticky brown cylindrical eggs, each around one eighth of an inch long, on twigs. At the tip of each egg is a tan rim, and within that, a small fringed hole. Individually, these eggs look like licorice. Not so bad, right? However, Mama Wheelbug lays her eggs in clumped hexagonal clusters, creating this jarring image that's guaranteed to send trypophobia sufferers into a frenzy. 
Man, tell me that's not Hell's version of a honeycomb. The cluster is covered in a sticky adhesive secretion and the strong hexagonal shape means the cluster can withstand even the worst weather conditions. But the aesthetic horrors don't end there. After about three months, the ominous orange wheel bug nymphs burst out of the tiny egg opening. But the newly hatched nymphs that emerge are more than twice the length of the egg casing. So they've been compressed in that tiny egg, slowly developing until the pressure of their own growing bodies literally forces them out of the opening. Like Satan's own pimple. I was gonna make another egg pun here, but I've lost my appetite. Phew, we made it. Just, ugh. Which of these unique eggs shocked you the most? Ugh. And have you seen any of them with your own eyes? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.